and this one is mm, ginger snap girl hey guys welcome back to our channel so i was thinking that because we are going into winter i know a lot of uh women of color love to put on brown lipsticks nude lipsticks and i was thinking that you know what hmm, maybe i should do a video about my top seven top seven favorite nude lipsticks for women of color now the, now the reason why i say top seven is because I don't know top five gets overdone with a lot of things and 2017 7 and then my birthday is on the 7th so I kind of figured you know what because I'm doing this video why do I not just go with my top seven favorite nude lipsticks and then I'm gonna include some glosses at the end for the winter time so if you would like to know what kind of nude lipsticks you can go for for the winter time then please keep watching now the thing is, nude can be various different colors to uh, different women, of course. So for me, nude means a nice soft pink or a brown, a very light type of brown mixed with a little bit of pink as well. So nude can really mean different things for different people. But I kind of figured that it would be nice for you guys to see um, what kind of lipsticks are recommended by me by us beauty con asa so that you guys can see if you might want to pick up something new you know let's get started okay so the first nude is actually the nude that i have on my lips right now this nude is from mac as well and it's called cream in your coffee so it's basically cream in my coffee cream in your coffee cream in your coffee so it's basically a really really nice mix between a brown and a pink and a great color this is a cream sheen finish so i really really like this because it's a great color for when you are really couldn't be bothered with a lip liner this looks really good with or without lip liner so i normally just apply it on without lip liner it's pigmented enough but also creamy enough to last quite a while i really really love this one uh let me see if i swatch it this is one of my favorite favorite lipsticks if you want a great lip color that is nude often make sure that you have a good rich brown lip liner as well because that will sort of mute down the harsh color of a nude and sort of bring it back so that it makes it look really nice and flawless and blends into your skin flawlessly love it love it okay. and then another one of my faves this is another nude lipstick by mac and it is in taupe i love taupe taupe is a it's i think it's sort of like a reddish brown kind of color so i also pair this one with a brown lip liner that's what it looks like over there really 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 love this one um great with or without lip liner better with lip liner and it's a really nice mix between a red and a brown i love 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 this one and it's matte so you ain't got no shine if you don't want no shine then you don't have to get no shine okay and then the next one is a common favorite by everybody and everybody who knows or has heard of mac this is velvet teddy now this is a nude that must definitely be paired with a brown lip liner doesn't matter you can use chocolate from la girl you can use chestnut you can use cork as long as the lip liner is a brown lip liner you are good to go it it, it really looks exceptional um this is a very very bright pinky okay you can't even see it it's a very very bright pink color and it's better when it's muted down with a um brown lip liner this is one of my favorites from mac and i'm looking at it now it's actually got stains of brown lip liner across it because i never wear this lipstick without lip liner so carrots and then the last one is from Stila. Now, there are so many lipsticks that I can recommend for the winter time that are nude. I wanted to add just a different one and this is one I love, love in the winter time. And this is Bon Bon by Stila. It is a really, really nice dark, um, sort of uh, 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 a nice mix, a lighter version of a white and red, but it's a nice mix between a red 
and a uh, brown as well. So this one looks like that, that one at the corner there. Really, really, really love this one. And I think it's a great recommendation. It's great in terms of its price point as well. I really, really think the new um, Stila lipsticks must be jumped on. I think they're that good. They are that good, okay? jump on them but this one thing that i do want to mention i've got a ton of lip pencils but lip pencils are your best friend when it comes to lipsticks purely because you can change the color of a lipstick if you want to pair velvet teddy with a brown lipstick it changes the color completely makes it more suitable for women of color sometimes you can pair it with a purple almost purple lip, lip liner and this one is rebellious that's the one at the top there, just be uh, above chestnut. Really, really great. You can pair it with a nude lipstick if you just want to maybe deepen the color, make it a little bit more plum-like. It's great. You can also pair a nude lipstick with a red. It just sort of brings it back to a look, sort of like a pinkier color. So lip liners are your best friend in the winter time, especially, especially, especially for uh, nude lipsticks. So that's a, that's a tip. That's a tip. And then the last things are lip glosses. Lip glosses I love in the winter time. I love them in summer. I love them all, all year round. Sometimes I just feel like when I'm going to work, I really prefer just to wear a lip gloss on my lips and nothing more. The NYX Butter Glosses are really, really good. And these are my favorites. I, I always stock up on these when I run out. And one is Tiramisu, so it's got a very nice pinky kind of tinge to it. It's very, it's glossy, but it's not sticky. And it's not that completely like, um, it's, 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 it doesn't show up too much on your lips, but it gives your lips a really nice pinky tinge, which is really, really nice. I like that. And this one is Ginger Snap. This is a very dark, rich brown. There's a picture where, mm, that's what Ginger Snaps looks like. But yeah, this is a very dark, rich brown, and I really, really like this. So this, these are good colors for the winter time for your lipsticks okay so that is it i will be coming up again with another top seven of blushes for women of color so i hope you guys enjoyed the series if you'd like to see some of these in terms of top seven eyeshadows top seven blushes lipsticks that kind of thing please do let me know but this is oh girl but this is what I have for this edition of Top 7. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what some of your favorites are. List them down below. And don't forget, we are filming a Q&A very, very soon. So do let us know what you would like to see or what you would like to hear from us. And until the next one, I will go. Bye.